Should I have children? Mm. Good question. Great question. Thank you. Do you want to have children? Mm. Well, look, no, it's, it's a really crucial question, this. And, and look, I've got two children... And as con literally contrary to what's on the internet, because lots of people have interviewed George today, going, so you've got one daughter, I've heard it said to him three times, so, and he's got two. I got two, I got two, yes. And, and there's not a day goes by when I don't think, was this the right thing to do? Not, not because there's anything wrong with my daughters. <laughs> Look, I mean, I, yeah, I delight, I delight yeah. in my kids, but yeah, I, then I think of the world that I've brought them into, you know, and they didn't ask to be brought into this world. And, and it's... It's a very scary world. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them. I mean, my um, eldest daughter organised her school climate strike, the first school climate strike, completely without any reference to me. It was like, yeah. Dad, butt out of this, this is mine. Where, which where was is, whereas fantastic. my son took the day off, he could, <laughs> and he was still flipping eggs at 5 to 11 when, the clip, when it was just about to start, so I booted him out the door. Yeah. Good, good for you. I mean, obviously, if she hadn't organised a school climate strike, I would have said, why can't you be one of them nice yeah. kids out on strike? Look at you in your uniform, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, but the, uh, you know, I, I, I worry massively for them. You know, it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll drop off at some point and, um, and, and I'll be, you know, I'll know nothing of what then happens. But to, to leave this horrendous legacy and to leave them to deal with it, to mop it up. It, it, it troubles me constantly. Um, I don't know how to answer this question. Yes, of course, there's massive environmental impacts in having children, especially in a rich nation as well. So the only way of, of reconciling that is to bring them up as eco-warriors yeah. and to get but them to fight the system. You can't guarantee that, though. You there can't. No They'll rebel. You They'll might, rebel. And... You might give birth to a, another Greta. You might give birth to another Kim. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, they might run away from the circus and join the bank. They might. But I like think, John Major did. You know, um, fer fertility rates are decreasing, um, yeah. especially in the West, um, mm. <clears throat> potentially another cause of Wi-Fi um, and all the pesticides we're consuming. Um, but I think that, that a great way to, you know, I would say if you want to have children or if the person that you're with wants to have children, have children. Don't have more than two. Like 2.1, I think, is the sort of the sweet spot that we can survive. Um, That's quite difficult to achieve, though. But <laughs> not 2.1, exactly. You know, <laughs> two and a cat. No, they're terrible for the environment. Um, but also, you know, a really great way, if that is something that you're interested in, is to support women's rights and women's education in the global south, um, and and really share those organisations because it's been shown that women, uh, girls who have access to a secondary school education have fewer children in life. So if there's a way that you can support that, I think that's something that we can all do um, to, to address the population issue. So in, look, I can't answer your question because it is your question and your partner or putative partner's question. But as a general social question, should we have children? it could be that the responsible answer is no. Not so much because of any impacts that those children might have, but because of the impacts those children might feel. And we are bringing up any of our children into a terrifying world. A world where nothing is certain anymore, and that can be a good thing, because the old certainties have failed us. Yeah. We need uncertainty now. We need massive and rapid change. But it can also be a very bad thing, a very bad thing indeed, as that change could be catastrophic. So, you know, maybe we should just stop. Maybe we should just decide that actually it doesn't make any sense to keep having children. It's not fair to keep having children. But if we do have children, and if we already have children, as I do, then we should do everything in our power to support them through the struggle against the forces destroying our life support systems. Mm. Yeah.